Good morning. Today is Sunday. Yes, it's a Sunday morning already. And my husband and I are getting ready to head out the door to go to Cambridge Springs Alliance Church in Pennsylvania, where he'll be giving the message. And I have my door open, not because I wanted to heat the outside, because I wanted to show you how beautiful it was. And when I stood by the door, yeah, you couldn't see me at all. So I'm gonna walk that way, and if the shadow, if I go into the shadows, well, at least you've seen me, right? Anyways, it snowed most of the day yesterday. Hey, look at that, I think it's gonna stay focused. And it's still snowing. My husband just came in from shoveling, that's the dogs barking. Anyways, I hope that you have a very good day, and I will talk to you later on throughout mine, and see you in a little bit. I just thought I'd give you a quick look at what we woke up to. Isn't that beautiful though? It is sometimes a hassle to get through it and clear it all away, but it certainly is beautiful. God has made a magnificent masterpiece. Well, we're back. We had a wonderful time. People there are just so gracious, so friendly. But for dinner today, <coughs> excuse me, and I know that lots of times we go out to get something, but we decided we were just going to come home and enjoy the afternoon until we go back to our own church in the evening. And I thought that I would take this opportunity to make something that I had got at Duran Farms. That is I can show you here. These little meatballs. These are actually chicken meatballs with spices and Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to put these in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 and, um, and cook those. And I'm going to boil some homemade, not by me, noodles. <laughs> and have some roasted garlic alfredo sauce with it and then I'll just have a small tossed salad and yeah I think that'll be good I um, got everything except for the alfredo sauce at Duran Farms for and I haven't tried these these products so I'm gonna give it a try I'll let you know what they taste like and if they're yummy and I'm sure they are anyways I'll check back with you in a little while and that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty yummy. I sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese over it and a little bit of parsley. And this is our, our Sunday dinner. Is it good? Here comes the taste test. That's how we're going to know. Mm, very good. Is it? Is the meat good too? Mm -hmm. What is it? It is chicken um, meatballs from Duran Farms and homemade noodles from Duran Farms. Very good. And there's Mindy Lou, rolling in the snow, one of her very favorite things to do. You rolling in the snow, honey. You rolling in the snow. They are so funny. Missy sees something go over there. She keeps going over there and looking. Oh, man. Really hope she doesn't jump that little creek. Anyways, I thought I'd take you outside with us as we go out before we go to church. Get the dogs out, that is, before we go to church. But it's uh, it's deeper out here than I realized. Uh, it's got to be at least six to seven inches of snow. I didn't think we got that much. Missy, come. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. But it is definitely a very wet snow. That is for sure. But I'm going to go on in. I got to let the other little guy out and give him a chance to go potty before we leave. And I will talk to you after a little bit. 
Well, we just got out of church. It was a very nice little service. And um, we are actually at Country Fair because we needed to get some gas. But my husband has a sweet tooth. So he's getting some ice cream. Yeah. And then he says from here, he wants to go across the street to Arby's because our grandson got a job there and he's working there right now. And they have their two fish sandwiches for $5 going on. So we're going to get two fish sandwiches so we can go in there and just embarrass him a little bit. That ought to be fun, don't you think? Talk to you in a little bit. Good evening. I hope that everyone has had just a wonderful weekend, and I pray that you had a wonderful Lord's Day also. Time to spend with him, to worship him, and to lift up his name and glorify the Lord of Lords. And in case you haven't noticed, I didn't pick up my camera or my GoPro the entire day yesterday. Honestly, we didn't do anything. My husband and I, we just enjoyed the day together. He spent a little bit of time in his study and I spent a little time doing my studies and then we spent the rest of the time together. We had a very nice day and I think that sometimes that's all we need to do, right? But today I wanted to talk to you about seeking the Lord and I want to read to you three different verses all of them in Psalms the first one is Psalms 27 4 where it says one thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple the second one I want to read is Psalms 14, verse 2. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. And the last one I want to read is Psalms 105, verse 4. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. You know, seeking the Lord means seeking his presence. And the word presence is a common translation of the Hebrew word face. Literally, we are to seek his face. To be before his face is to be in his presence. So that leaves the question, but aren't his children always in his presence? And the answer is yes and no. Yes in two senses. First, in the sense that God is omnipresent and therefore is always near everything and everyone. He holds everything in being. His power is ever present in sustaining and governing all things. The second is he is always present with his children in the sense of his covenant commitment to always stand by us and with us. As we're told in Matthew 28, 20, behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. But, there's always a but, isn't there? There is a sense in which God's presence is not always with us, which is the reason that the Bible repeatedly calls us to seek the Lord, seek his presence continually. There are times when we become neglectful of God. We give him little or no thought where the beauty of his face, the brightness of his personal character can become hidden behind a curtain, so to speak. It's there, but we don't really give it any thought because we're not paying attention. Without even realizing it, we can gradually drift away from the one 
we need the most. And at the end of the day, look back and realize we did not include him or speak with him throughout our entire day. That is why we are told to seek his presence continually. God calls us to enjoy the continual consciousness of his supreme greatness and beauty and worth every day and throughout our day. That's why we are told to seek his presence continually. God calls us to enjoy his presence throughout our day. Each day though, we have a choice to make concerning God. We will either place him at the center of our day or not. And the consequences of the choices that we make will have implications that are temporal and eternal. So as we begin each new day, let's place God where he belongs. In our prayers, on our lips, and in our hearts. And then with God as your guide, and your companion, let the journey begin. With that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And I want to read to you a quote from a lady named Anne Graham Watts. As I contemplate all the sacrifices required in order to live a life that is totally focused on Jesus Christ and his eternal kingdom, the joy seeps out of my heart and into my face in a smile of deep satisfaction. Our journey through this life, the satisfaction that we will find, is only found in Jesus Christ. Good night and God bless.